I heard an interesting study recently that people are at their unhappiest between the ages of 25 and 45 because adulthood has kicked in in full force. Kids, mortgages, debt, maybe your career isn't what you think it is. You're not famous yet, you're not as good looking as you thought, not as fit as you thought. All the expectations of your young adult self might not be met or it's just bloody harder than you thought it would be. You think, how have I got myself here? And then after 45, if you realise, you know what? It ain't gonna get any easier. I'm not gonna get any fitter or stronger or better looking. I better shape up and get used to this. And you settle into your new norm. So we're in Tasmania. Derby, beautiful part of the world. Never been here before. Mountain biking capital of Australia. Helen is an ex-mountain biker. She says she's not, but she's an ex-mountain biker. She's now a mum, and that means she has pretty much left behind her mountain biking body. And she's given it over to the kids. We're going on a nice trip for you to enjoy the wilderness, be connected. <laughs> and now I'm being filmed. I didn't know this was part of the deal. Uh-oh. You don't gonna have to do right? a, you don't have to do anything different. I'm only joking around, Bodie, it's all right. Look. I got the better deal when I married Helen, I reckon. She's one good egg. There's a junior egg in the back here. Didn't sleep for as long as she should have, which is pretty much the story of our second kid. We all need circuit breakers, right? After a real hard stint. And we've had a hard stint with this second kid. Beautiful little baby, but just doesn't sleep. I think sleeping is a myth. Sleep? What do you want to sleep for? So much good stuff to do. And I actually agree, kid, but... Can you do it? Can you just sleep a little bit? <laughs> can you just... <laughs> Helen deserves this kind of treatment every week and she hasn't had it for years. We're just starting to ease out of the pressure cooker of having two kids under four. And she's felt it more than me. She doesn't sleep as well. She's working her ass off. She's the boss of a small company. And her filmmaking husband flits around the place and essentially kind of gets on with business. Yeah, I'm not sleeping as much as I used to either. And this last year has been freaking hard but she's had it way harder than me, hands down. I'm not used to just being in this mindset, you know, I'm used to thinking about kids, logistics, thinking about work and my brain, I was just saying to Kel before when we walked up the side of the waterfall, I had a split moment of thinking, oh work, and then you just zip back into this space. So yeah, it's really nice to be here. Funny what kids do, they make you realise just how, I suppose, selfish we are with our ambitions and bodies and daily splits of time. But if you've got all these ambitions stitched into finances, your ego, your status, your mortgage is bloody massive, you're torn with all these other big things and they take your time. I chinked the cup at dinner last night and tink, 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 tink. And there was a moment there where I thought, shit, I should propose to Helen again. Now, bloody lucky I am. I hope Helen's off there having the bloody time of her life. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. She needs lots of snacks, Helen. She is fueled by snacks and water at intervals that she's not very good at controlling herself. She gets so consumed with work or being a mum, she forgets to freaking eat. I've walked into the house before and she's busting, thirsty and hungry and she's just sitting there by herself. What a remarkable time of life it is when your own needs slip from your daily allocation of time. Restricted to scraps here and there or at the end of the day when you're stuffed. Then all of a sudden, 
you find yourself on a ride or running and stretching without being interrupted. You've read the news for the first time in a long time and talked to a friend over a slow plate of food. At long last, you've strung together some sleep. Bloody hell, we got there, light at the end of the tunnel. While you're away, I read a book on parenting and I got a few tips and the baby is sleeping and I've been drinking ever since. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Well, I should go writing more often then. <laughs> you probably should. <laughs>